What's up guys, ViperFPV here, and today I actually want to uh, talk about Betaflight 3.3. Remember this quad I kind of did a review on? It's kind of up on the left or right where it will be. Um, this is the X215 from Twid Quad Frames. I actually swapped out the QAV X frame and pretty much put all the components that were in that into this. Uh, the only thing that did change is I did go with a newer flight controller. Uh, instead of having an uh, Omnibus F4, it now has a JB uh, F4 flight controller. So it does have an MPU 6000, so I won't be able to do 32K sampling. Uh, so it'll be 8K, 8K, but I wanted to go ahead and mess with the uh, new Betaflight filters and uh, kind of show you guys where you should start off with when you are running an MPU 6000, which a lot of us are. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into Betaflight and set this quad up. What's up guys, we're actually at the beta flight screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over some things I did change already, um, and then kind of just jump into the um, actual um, setting up your low pass filter. Um, so first things first, um, I am using a JBF4 um, flight controller. Um, so I'm using UART4 for my receiver, so I have that enabled right there. And then here um, I do have DSHOT 600 selected since I am using um, BHELI S ESCs. Um, I did change the mo motor idle value to 5%. Um, now since I am using the MPU 6000 on JB board, I can only, I'm only limited to 8K, 8K. Um, I did disable the accelerometer already. Um, and then I do have the craft name set up there. Didn't have to make any changes over here on the board orientation. My receiver, um, this is where you'll pick what you want. Now, since I have uh, a serial receiver picked, I am picking serial base receiver here or S bus or whatever. And then I'm using Crossfire, so it's selected right there. And if you're using FrySky or Spectrum, S bus or whatever, that's how you select it. And then here, I went ahead and I enabled telemetry, air mode, OSD, um, anti gravity, and actually dynamic filter will be turned off. Um, for this, there's actually two separate ways you can go ahead and set up your filter. Either you can select it with the dynamic filter on and you run your low pass filter at 500, um, or you can go ahead and shut your dynamic filter um, off and you can run it at 150. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the dev say first. So I'm going to shut off the dynamic filter and then um, we'll go ahead and go into the filter settings in a moment. I just want to kind of go over what I did for my setup. So I'm going to go ahead and save and reboot right here. And right now, um, let's go ahead and just go into CLI right now and just set up the filter since I'm already, actually, you know, let's not do that first. Let me go into the Pitutum tab and show you um, what I enabled and disabled first. So in Pitutuning tab, I set up my rates already. Um, I set up my anti-gravity just around 4 for right now. I kind of like it around there anyway. Um, shut off the, I put on PT1 as a D-term low-pass filter. And then I shut off all the notches, including the D-term notch. Um, the D-term notch, you can go ahead and leave that on if you want to, um, just to make sure you don't have hot motors. But I'm pretty confident in my setup that it's not going to have hot motors. Um, but I would suggest, and I'm going to do it too, as soon as I take off, I'm going to hover for about 10 seconds see if I do have any hot motors, and then continue on with flying a little longer, checking again for hot motors. Um, so let's go ahead and go into, let's save that really quick, and let's go into CLI. Um, now, when you go ahead and set up a fresh new board, or any board really for that fact you haven't enabled this yet, we wanna go ahead and do is check to see if it's enabled, which it probably won't be, but go ahead and say get stage two. Now yours will say zero right here. That means it's disabled. Uh, 150 is the good starting off uh, low pass. So what you have to do is just type in set, or actually what would be back, actually better for you from when you do that is just do this. Let's hit copy, control C, and then um, control V to copy it here. And then you can just go ahead and put in front of it set, and then you can just hit enter and it'll set it to 150. And then all you wanna do after that is just hit save. And that's pretty much all you have to do to enable that low pass filter. So since that's done, um, and pretty much talking about that a little bit, 
Um, when you go ahead and fly, um, if you notice you don't have hot motors and you did all those things, um, you can go ahead and keep increasing that low pass filter from 150, 160, 170, 180, 200, and keep going up to about 250. Or I think 250 is really, I think, the highs you want to go. Um, and uh, keep checking for hot motors if you don't have those. Um, now, when you do start getting hot motors, uh, go ahead and back it off a couple. So, like, set it down 20 below or 10 below. Just in case if you do have a broken prop or something like that, you don't blow a motor from just having that vibration in that motor. So, um, other than that, um, it pretty much is just setting up any other quad. Um, I already did set up my receiver already. Um, set up all my trims on my Tyrannus. Um, set up my aux channel for my RSSI. Um, the modes, I only have really one mode hooked up right now. I don't have a beeper installed, but I'll probably be using the, uh, the B-Heli S beeper function on this, and I'll set that up probably um, real soon, because I don't think these are flashed yet with the that firmware yet. Um, then I went ahead and set up my rate profile here. It's using AUX3, so when I switch on my radio, I can switch between my rates if I want to do freestyle or doing racing. That's usually the most common setup to why you would want to do that. Um, and then and my OSD, I already set that all up how I like it. And the only other thing I think I have left to do on this um, is just to reassign my one of my UARTs and use soft serial. And what I'm going to go ahead and do um, is I'm going to type in here. I'm going to do that really quick. I know I did this in another video, but I'm going to go ahead and actually do this again. Um, so what I'm going to do is type in LED. Actually, I need to do that probably capitalize. I don't know if that matters. Strip one. And actually, you know what I need to do first before I do that? Totally forgot. I need to see what pin that's on. So let's hit resource. And I know my LED strip is on B08. So I have to write that down somewhere or remember it, B08. So let's go ahead and do this. Type in LED strip, one, none. So that means I just freed up that uh, pin, that B08. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is type in resource serial transmit one one. B08. And then it says here, says uh, B08 is already assigned to motor 5, which it honestly doesn't matter because I'm not using motor 5. But if I really wanted to go ahead and be picky, I can go ahead and take, type in resource motor 5, none. And then if you type in resource again, it should show, see, no more motor 5, so that's missing. And then I have serial TX11 on B08. So that's how you know you actually did it. So then go ahead and type in save. And I'll save that right there. And then in the configuration tab, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Click on soft serial, save and reboot again. And then in the ports tab, you should have some extra um, soft serial ports here since I've only activated the one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type go into here, TBS Smart Audio, and hit save and reboot. And then that's pretty much it. So I think this uh, quad is all set up and ready to go. Um, I'll probably do some tuning on that too and show you guys kind of how that prog pro progress goes. Um, so look forward to that after the, uh, um, probably the Helio RC uh, video probably already came out already and I'm probably already working on doing those tunes. But um, yeah, so um, look forward to some future content. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I really do appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you guys another time. Peace.